bit of a spontaneous buy, very rare, as in we think it's the only one in the UK. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It is a bit of a chilly afternoon but I'm doing YouTube videos because it's just what I do, isn't it? So today we are going to be showing you a car that we purchased a couple of weekends ago. I've only just got around to film this video. Now I say we, Martin's actually bought this car. It was a bit of a spontaneous buy. We were driving along in my Mercedes. We're always looking for cheap cars to buy for just the sake of it and it's quite a rare car and another selling big factor was the price and it has a long MOT. We said to the bloke, hi we're interested in your car, can we come across like now to look at it? So the guy was selling it on behalf of a friend, we literally met this bloke down the road, he was there in the car, took it for a rip up and down the road and there we had it, deal was done. Now on further inspection this car is actually very rare as in we think it's the only one in the UK because it is one of these limited edition versions so without further ado I'm gonna get my fiance Martin in on this video a bit as well because obviously it's his car haven't had him feature properly in a video for a while so let's show you the car let's talk about why we bought it and why it's rare and what it is basically so let's do it so I bet you guys weren't expecting this then this is a 1996 Mazda 323F with a 1.5 petrol engine manual gearbox and this car only has 67 and a half thousand miles on the clock now let's show you around the car it's kind of cheap for a reason it's got its bad points it's got its good points let's bring in martin let's show you around the car yeah i think it's a real bargain here's martin my fiance for those of you that haven't yet met martin's this is martin's car now you have actually liked these before and i have as well but now we seem to have one we haven't seen any on the road since we've had this car but you have liked these cars for a while yeah yeah i've always liked them this one will have to do. It's a spontaneous bike. Yeah. We were literally driving along, cruising around in Merck. Martin sees this on the Facebook marketplace, sent a message off, and yeah, we had to have it. The car drives really well. It's quite nippy, actually, I think. We'll show you some of the cool things, and we'll talk about why it's rare as well. Martin's got his big fur coat on, and I don't blame him. First of all, Martin, registration plate. What is that? It's a private plate, because initials of the previous owner. It's got a little free private plate included. So this is a 96 with a 96 private plate. That came with the sale of the car and it's quite a nice plate. And we believe the DJM, from documents we have with this car, this is, like Martin said, the initials of a previous owner. How many owners has this car had as well? Two previous. So I'm you number are three. lucky number three. So, and we've got some funny documents to show you when we get home as well. Now, I'm just editing this video up. Now, the car came with a fair bit of service history, quite a bit. And because it hasn't had many owners, I suppose there's more chance of that history being kept in the little folder we got of the car. Now, the car is so cute. So it came with a little AA motorist uh, book here, log book, mo AA motorist log book, it says. And in here, it's just amazing. So basically, the guy started writing this book before he had the Master 323. So the car he started writing this book was in regards to a Toyota Camry Auto. Oh, so anyway, I'm just gonna just show you some Master sort of stuff. So in here is basically hand written notes. You can kind of see it there. So basically, he's written about um, when it's had its MOT, it's had a new top hose in this date. Um, I think there's also there's dates in here, and he was recording the mileage. I think he's recording how many miles the car was doing a day. He even said when the car had a wash. Um, yeah, this guy has been proper OCD, or one of the owners has been proper OCD about having this car new. New battery, 60 quid, cam belt, but it's just all these little handwritten notes in this little book. I mean, so cute and yeah, I love going through cars that have good history. It just builds up a history of the car and the life it's had before it then reaches yourselves. Should we talk about the looks of this car? Because I think it does look quite similar to my Nissan 100NX with yeah, the, the sort of really little lights. small headlights that apparently and I know they are useless. They're useless. <laughs> but we've got the clear indicators down here. We also have a cheeky sunroof which tilts and then does go back, doesn't it, Martin? Tilt and slide. Yeah. Tilt and slide. Uh, Mazda three year warranty. I guess that's probably expired by now. Now, this is the bit where I think this is a bit of a limited edition. So that sticker there says Figaro. When we looked at the car, I jokingly said, oh, Figaro, what does that mean? Maybe it's in some little funny little limited edition. 
on that how many's left site which i tend to use quite a lot because i've owned quite a few rare cars we think on a bit of research this might be the only one left in the uk being a figaro edition if anyone knows anything more about the 323f's got any more information or can correct me on that that would be very helpful this car has 14 inch alloy wheels which aren't in too bad a condition this is one of the better ones out the four but the wheels look quite cool cool thing we found out about this car because i phoned joseph from lloyd's vehicle consultant the night we bought this because i was asking for more information on this car and he kindly provided me with some one fact being that these doors are completely pillarless so literally obviously that glass is pretty much the door frame so that is really really cool so this is obviously a five door just looking at the interior quickly we've got winding windows in the back but all the interior is pretty good even got a little armrest there as well barely been satin it's got original mats as well martin's gave them a bit of a clean although they've gone a bit green that rhymes so we must add another reason for this car was because it was cheap it was local and a new MOT. So it's basically got, when we bought it, what, 10 months MOT yeah, left? Nearly 11 had, yeah. Yeah, and the MOT history isn't bad at all. So for the money, we're not really going to say, but it was a real cheap car. And with that long MOT, it just, yeah, it'd be silly not to buy, wouldn't it, really? Plus it being a rare car, private plate. Yeah, it was tidy enough. For the money I paid for it, it was worth Oh, it's so worth the money. it. We had to buy it there and then from this dodgy looking guy down the road, but it just had to be Even though it done. has got a few little bodywork issues yeah. it was worth the money yeah and we'll show you some of the imperfections now onto the back of the car i've always liked this big massive sort of light reflective panel on the back there is someone on the 323f forum that's tinted theirs but martin might do that might not i don't know but i personally like it being all red so another little funny thing is this has really sort of confused us we thought there was meant to be like a bit of trim covering it over so martin's been on the forum saying who's got this number plate light insert recess and no one's got them because apparently they're don't have them i just think that's really weird it just looks like something should be there so a bad thing about this car and this is probably the worst thing to be fair is the bumper has this massive crack in it has been touched up in areas as well you can see there this is probably too far gone we're trying to source another bumper it's the only really bad thing letting the car down now on the other side of the bumper it's been touched up someone's tried which is fine we got this bit of a I don't know what's quite happened here bit of a mark martin has given it a bit of a polish and it has come up quite well and overall there's not really many dents in the car it's just mainly paintwork letting it down just like here we have some lacquer peel here i think that's the only lacquer peel on the car so really it's the rear end of the car sort of letting this car down it looks messy from the back from the front end however the front end is much more better condition than the back so when we got this car and i'll put a photo in now what did it have on the side Side, Martin uh, the door trimmed now we're not sure if that was an after four but you think they might have come with them I don't know I think they do yeah yeah but Martin basically peeled them off for use by hairdryer and what he just heated them off bit of tar and glue yeah you can't really see and the remnants outside sitting on the curb oh they? yeah bless you but it looks so much better without these dodgy side trims you even got this kind of black it's kind original of like master. a spoiler is that original master sticker I don't know, telephone look at that 22566 two, two, five, six. Six. No but yeah we've even got this really random sort of spoiler as well so on the interior of this car it really smells nice in 90s and the interior like when you're in here you forget sort of how a bit tatty the outside is so we have the electric windows in the front here even things i think that i had this on the silica that's a massive deep well cubby hole down there i don't know what's in there martin nothing <laughs> um no sweets central locking in it three keys we've got for this car as well which is nuts now in here should we straighten up the steering wheel actually so bearing in mind martin's only washed the outside of this car he hasn't done a proper interior clean on the side we have the boot pool the petrol pool come in here martin so that does your the releases the boot and releases the petrol cap down there this seat has a lot of adjustments actually obviously forward and back have you got lumber in this one martin yeah that tilts back and forth in the passenger you don't have that many um adjustments little <laughs> little sweetie cubby hole in there uh fog lights your indicators are on the wrong side so obviously it's a jap car and that's the same with my silica it just takes a bit of getting used to you've got all your wiper controls here as well and just look at those dials i don't know if i can can i do the lights while they're 
Oh, you're not going to see it. But anyway, I just love how clear this is. You've got your fuel here, your temperature gauge. Everything's just really nice and crisp to read. I just really like the way you've got the big dial, the two little ones. I don't know, there's something about that setup. You've also got a dimmer to basically brighten, lighten and darken. The lovely green light that does illuminate this here. And the only thing really letting the interior down is this sort of the seat here. I guess where obviously someone, it's a driver's seat or someone's been getting in and out of here. So yeah, I don't know if we can find a replacement seat for that. It's not the end of the world, but it's just not ideal. The storage in here is really, really good. So we've got a goodness knows what make radio in here. We've got a little cubby hole here, a little one there. Mine's got is a USB charger in here. We've also got this one here. We've got this one here. Another big one, deep pocket there. The way of closing the door is really weird because when I first, I drove the car home and you have to pull it here, whereas I was sort of trying to grab something here and there's nothing there. But again, it's just quirky. Electric mirrors. This car over here also has air conditioning, which we believe that works. All the heaters work, all the heating controls. Rear demister, that's okay, isn't it? Yeah, everything works on this car. It's only just, you know, just one of the little plastic passenger electric window controls going a bit, but and there's some free glitter on there as well we need to get rid of but the interior i mean i love this free spoke really retro wheel as well i just love the sort of how basic this car like this wheel is basically i don't think there's any airbags on this car at all but everything works on this car like i said we've got the manual operated sunroof here as well see that's not electric so it's gonna work but the roof lining's not sagging not stained the seats aren't really that dirty either just obviously the driver's seat lets the car down five speed manual gearbox i've driven this car once briefly yeah martin just is amazed at how easy it is to change gear in this car it's just the gearbox is a dream so like i said this car had to be bought by us because 323 f's are rare as they are this being what we think a rare very rare model is just the guy obviously didn't know what car he was selling basically everything in here works the only thing is the driver's seat's letting it down but everything in here works as it should it's an absolute pleasure to drive it's got low mileage long mot private number plate it just had everything going for it yeah the back the rear of the car is a bit tatty but the rest of it that's it really it's only just the rear bumper letting this car down everything works it just had to be bought see even the electric aerial works now this again was on my Celica as well so it goes all the way to its highest put point as it should and it comes all the way down again it's weird how cars had that in the past and we just don't get any of that now <laughs> so even these windows roll down a really weird way <laughs> it is so cold filming this video so let us know what you think of what we think and don't burst our bubble it's a really rare version of this 323f another well done to martin because so far he supplied me with a Celica finding me, I mean, a Celica, the Mercedes, he found me the BMW, or did I find that? That was a bit of each one. Yeah, and then he's then sourced himself this absolute bargain of a car. Martin's now just behind the camera, so he didn't know why he needed to be in this other shop, but hey. <laughs> this car just had to be bought, and me, sort of thinking from a very money orientated brain, I said to Martin, even if you don't really want to keep this car i'm sure although it's a little bit you know rough around the edges whatever i'm sure this car will definitely make money compared to what we bought it for because if we ever come to sell on this car we'll do more of an advert more photos etc etc common sense stuff and i'm sure we'd get our money back plus some when we go to sell this car maybe this car might come to some events with me maybe it'll come to my driven 24 7 meet in april don't forget that one when martin spotted this car it had to be bought by ourselves we literally the car has been advertised for like 10 50 minutes on facebook martin was straight in there and yeah it had to be bought it was just a no-brainer so i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know if you're expecting this kind of car on the channel or not like I say, I love these little 90s cheap gems. It's what I'm sort of all about now because these are cash bought cars, low mileage and it's rare. Let me know the last time you also saw one of these on the roads because we haven't seen one since we've owned this car. Thanks for watching. My hands are going blue and very cold and I'll see you in another video. So with only 68,000 miles, how many has it got on the clock? It's not 68, is it? <laughs> Or is it 68? Hang on, I'm not liking this angle.